here recently, especially CNN has become the Karen of Alabama, trying to shame us into wearing masks or calling us out and saying that what we're doing is dangerous. If you've seen the video of all the Karens shouting out that woman in the grocery store on Staten Island and telling uh, my favorite one was the guy that actually pulled his mask down to yell at the woman for not wearing a mask. Uh, but anyway, that's what CNN has become for the state of Alabama. And they did a lengthy segment on Anderson Cooper's show the other night to try to highlight how dangerous Alabama is when it comes to this stuff, because the policies that have been put in place, I guess, just don't jive with what CNN believes is the correct policy, the correct response. And they've tried to say they've tried to bring up, well, Alabama's cases are going up. Yeah, they are going up. I just talked about that in the last segment when we did our update. But you know what's not going up? Deaths from the coronavirus in Alabama. You know what's not going up at least to a statistical, statistically significant amount? Hospitalizations in the state of Alabama. So as much as I hate that the cases are going up and wish that they weren't, why would we torpedo our economy when, since we've opened it up a little bit more, we haven't even seen an increase in deaths or hospitalizations. That just doesn't make any sense. But CNN, of course, doesn't add that nuance. They just say, oh, cases are going up. And look, there's packed beaches here in Alabama. Everything's going to be death and destruction and the sky is falling. This is CNN doing this routine uh, the other night. Across the street, the beach is jammed. Groups are supposed to be six feet away from each other. Police work to enforce that. The groups are also ordered to only consist of people who live in the same household. There is no active effort to enforce that. When it comes to coronavirus, medical experts will tell you they're very concerned about the immediate future here in Alabama. On this beach, though, your eyes and ears will tell you something much different. You can see from that where this is going. CNN showing pictures of uh, masses and hordes of people all crowded up and uh, clustered together there on the beach and saying, oh, look at these people in Alabama. My gosh, clutching their pearls. They're not social distancing. Ah! That's the routine CNN is doing. And I love, I love the, the, the CNN reporter uh, there, Gary Tushman. I think that's how you say his name. Gary Tushman. They're wearing a mask on the beach where it's sunny. I mean, he's outside. There's no reason to be wearing a mask. Uh, these people on the beach not wearing a mask and, and seeing and making a big deal about nobody wearing a mask out there on the beach. It's literally the safest place you could be out there in direct sun, uh, sunlight, strong wind blowing. Uh, I mean, you couldn't possibly be safer. You're way safer out there than you are cooped up inside. It's just a fact. When we're looking at, at how fast the sunlight destroys this virus, another thing that, could help understand exactly how ridiculous it is to believe that these people are endangering themselves and others by being out there like this. China right now is trying to do contract tracing, and I get it. I know China's information can't always be relied upon, but I can't really come up with a reason why they would lie on this specifically. They've lied on a lot of things before and have had a very specific, very clear motive for doing so because they didn't want to make themselves look bad. I don't really understand why they would lie about this. Maybe they have. Take it with a grain of salt because it is coming from the Communist Republic of China. Their report that they've done on contact tracing, they have done over 300 different cases trying to figure out where each person in Wuhan and in other places in China got this virus to try to figure out more accurately how it spreads and why it spreads and that kind of thing. They've looked at over 300 cases. Do you know how many of them they believe got the virus while outside? One. So far, based on all of the information that they've gathered, and they've traced it down to where was the most likely place that each person that they've looked at, and again, over 300 cases, they think there's one that contracted the virus outside. That's it. This thing simply does not spread, as far as we know, outside. Or if it does, it has to be extreme extenuating circumstances. We've done studies and, you know, we haven't done it to the degree that China has yet because we got it a little bit later. But we're trying to do similar studies here in America. And so far, there has yet to be a known case in the United States, anywhere, 
where somebody got it outside in direct sunlight. Now, maybe, maybe if it's cold and maybe drizzling or sleeting or, or really overcast and there's barely any sunlight out there, this happens on like a, I don't know, a chilly night or something like that. Okay, maybe. You're probably at much larger risk for contracting the virus in those circumstances, but it's a sunny beach. The odds of these people contracting it from doing something like that is practically non-existent. And I love the line that CNN tries to wiggle in there. It's like, well, the rules say that only people that are supposed to be gathered together are ones that are living in the same house. So far as we know, there's been no such, uh, no, no attempt to enforce that. How are you going to enforce that? Seriously, put yourself, because this is the enforcement side of the law. Put yourself into the mind of a security guard or a police officer that is working the beach that day. Is he supposed to walk up to literally every single group and say, okay, do y'all live together? You, you all live in the same house, right? They would have to do that to every single one. And by the way, since we don't have papers or documents or something on your driver's license that has a comprehensive list of everybody that you live with, they could just lie. Even if the police officers did do something stupid like that and trying to go out and enforce the rule of trying to make sure the only people gathered together are people that live in the same house, even if you tried to do that, all they would have to say is, yeah, we live together. What are you going to tell them that they don't live together? I mean, it's just absurd, the reporting here from CNN. But even ignoring all of that, even ignoring everything that I just told you, even ignoring how ridiculous that is and how they're clearly trying to steer a narrative in a particular direction, at least all of that you could dismiss as CNN just being ignorant or not doing their due diligence or not understanding how the virus works, which you would think since they've talked about it basically 24 hours a day on CNN since this whole thing started, and I get it, I've, I've covered it quite a bit myself, you would think that they would understand that this thing doesn't spread in sunlight. Even if you ignore all of that, it's still pretty hard to forgive them for the fact that CNN is straight up lying to your face. And as proof of this, watch this next clip. It is everything, but according to city officials in both Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, the reality of social distancing can be seen in these aerial photos taken this Memorial Day weekend. That video is from NBC 15 a local NBC affiliate out of Mobile. But apparently, little bitty local news channel did, I don't know, 10 seconds worth of research and completely debunked CNN. Literally all it took is a, and I don't know if they took the video from one of their drones or one of their helicopters or they had somebody else do it, but literally all they would have had to do is send a drone up to get an aerial shot and CNN can't be bothered to do that. I mean, you saw those beaches. People were social distancing. They were keeping apart from one another. Those beaches weren't nearly filled to capacity. But when you're, it's, a, it's an optical illusion. When you are looking at it from an angle like that, when you're looking at it at, at eye level or below, it makes the beach look way more crowded than it actually is. This is a camera trick that Hollywood has been using for years. CNN is literally using tactics that Hollywood has been using to try to make rooms look bigger than they actually are. Boy Meets World, one of my favorite sitcoms of all time. They actually make a joke about this, break the fourth wall a little bit, and make a joke about it inside that TV series. There's one where they go to the set, which, I mean, it's the set that they've been using this entire time, but they go to the set of their own classroom that they use in the show, and the whole thing is they're breaking the fourth wall. They're in the, the, the set of an imaginary show that's taking place basically in an alternate reality of the show that is going on there. And they go inside their classroom. And it's like, there's only nine deaths in this classroom. We're really supposed to believe that there's only nine students. And I'm like, yeah, but with camera angles, we can make it look like it's a lot more. This is a trick that Hollywood uses to trick its viewers into thinking there are more people than there really are. And CNN, a news company, 
just did exactly the same thing. It would be one thing if they just didn't say anything about it and just gave you that impression based on the, the person walking around or showing. But no, they specifically show shots low angle of people and it looks like there's a whole bunch of them together and say, well, there's really no social distancing going on there. But if you look at the aerial shots, oh, there absolutely was. CNN is lying to your face. They know that these people are standing apart. They know that because they have reporters walking around and seeing that people are distancing themselves. And to give you some frame of reference on of all of this, this is a picture, I couldn't find one of Orange Beach. But I found one of Perdido Beach, which is like 15 miles from the beach that you just saw. And so it's same area, same culture, everything. Uh, this is a picture back in April of 2019 of that beach. That's an aerial shot, and then you can you remember the aerial shot that we just showed a second ago of what the beaches looked like. Now, that's a crowded beach, and that's what Orange Beach would have looked like if nobody was social distancing. Now, frankly, like I said, I don't think that even doing that would necessarily be dangerous considering what we now know about the virus and how it spreads. But CNN is just straight up lying to you, trying to make you think that these beaches were way more crowded than they actually were. Especially for a big weekend like Memorial Day weekend. The aerial shots that you just saw from that local NBC affiliate, that's nothing. That's nowhere close to the way that it normally is. And so people absolutely were social distancing, despite what CNN says when they lie to you. So let's go ahead and look at another clip from the same report from CNN. You can see here they're, they're complaining about masks not being worn on the beach, which is hilarious on a number of levels. And then there is the issue of masks. We saw a grand total of zero being worn on the beach. Do you ever wear a mask? No. My wife and kids do. I don't. How come you don't? I just feel comfortable that I'm going to be okay. But the mask isn't to keep you okay, it's to keep your wife and kids okay. To protect them. I get it. I get it. Uh, the survival rate is so high, I think... You're not worried about them getting sick because I they're going to live. I, I, we're all going to get sick for something eventually. President not Trump really. is part okay. of this conversation. I mean, if he's not wearing a mask, I'm not going to wear a mask. If he's not worried, I'm not worried. The president? Yes, sir. Speaking of masks, Alabama has mandated them for restaurant and bar workers. Some restaurants have them. But at others, where we arrived unannounced and shot cell phone video, employees were not wearing masks. The manager here telling us after our visit, he has now given masks to his employees with instructions to wear them. At this other restaurant bar where we also saw no employees wearing masks, the manager told us they will continue not wearing them because she wants it that way, despite it violating the state order. First of all, you got to love CNN's diligence. We Let's go find our anti-Trump ammo. So let's go out and ask a kid. And by the way, you notice how they don't show the question that led up to that. I'd be really fascinated to see the unedited clip of, of why the guy was talking about President Trump. I don't know this for sure. I would guess that what happened there is that the reporter there asked, hey, uh, d does the president have any influence over whether or not you choose to wear a mask or not? I would guess that's that's how that conversation started. Granted, I don't know. Maybe he just volunteered that. But it seems odd to me that the reporter just automatically knew who he was talking about when he said, well, if he's not going to wear a mask, I'm not going to wear a mask. It seems really odd that that would be uh, the way that that happened. So, And then they showed the guys with the boat with the big Trump sticker. It's like, okay, we got to figure out a way to pin this on Trump. We got to make sure that people know that President Trump not wearing a mask is the reason these guys aren't wearing a mask. It's just ridiculous. That guy's the perfect example of scientism versus actual science. Because the whole thing is, let, let me put on my mask and virtue signal that I am a, a fan of science. But then he doesn't understand how the mask actually works. Because when he's questioning that guy there on the beach, he says, why don't you wear a mask? And he says, well, I'm not worried. He's like, well, it's not about you. It's about keeping your wife and your, your kids safe. And no, that's not that either. If you live in the house with people, which again is something that CNN was just harping on 10 seconds before. If you live in the same house with people, the mask isn't going to help them. 
you're, you're not using the mask to protect people within your own home. What the mask is supposed to do is to protect other people out in public that don't have regular contact with you from getting it. And there's questions as to how effective that is, too. You know, I, I tend to think that they help at least some. I mean, if, you, if a person sneezes, it'd be a lot better for them to have a mask on than not have a mask on if they happen to have the virus. But within the house, does this guy really think that the guy just w should be wearing a mask 24 hours a day to protect his wife and his kids while he's in the home with them? It's just stupid. This guy, he doesn't understand that the virus doesn't spread in sunlight. He doesn't understand that the mask is to protect other people you come in contact with in public, not people in your own home. And he's wearing a mask himself on a bright sunny day out in the beach where it's not doing anybody, including himself, any good. It's just so absolutely ridiculous. And I love how also how he's talking about how bad it is that the restaurants have people walking around that, that don't have masks, and there are even some employees that aren't wearing masks. Those restaurants are outside! I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record here, but they're just completely ignoring everything that science has told us within the past month about this virus and how it spreads. So they're either completely ignorant of it, which I guess, granted, is possible. It's CNN. Or, and this is the more likely rationale behind it, in my opinion, they saw a narrative that they wanted to pursue, and so they used everything hoping that an uninformed viewer which would probably be the majority of CNN's audience, all three of them, uh, that an uninformed viewer would see that and not know the difference. And so it would continue to further a narrative that they know isn't true. But that's how CNN conducts business, apparently. And in case you don't believe that this whole thing is theater, that this is CNN basically making themselves into a production company for a reality show as opposed to an actual news report that's supposed to inform people, go ahead and take a look at this. This is that same reporter on the beach there in Alabama when he was doing this report, Gary Tershman. You can see him here. So there he is on the right, not wearing a mask. He had the mask on for the cameras, but the second the cameras stop rolling, oh, it's not dangerous out here. Let's go ahead and take the mask off. This whole thing is theater. It's all made for the cameras. He's just like an actor putting on an act to report a pretend news story to scare people. That's what's going on here. And the fact that he doesn't feel that it's dangerous, he feels that he's fine walking around without a mask and his cameraman doing the same, we've seen this over and over again. There was the video of the White House press conference that the cameras kept rolling even though the reporters thought that they weren't. They all immediately stood up, took all their mask off. And that was, I mean, at least that was inside where the mask might conceivably make a difference. Out, outside where we are here, they don't even make a difference. We saw the same thing with uh, that video that came out, I think this past week, where the reporter is doing a report there in Michigan about all these people walking around not wearing masks. And then he's there wearing his mask doing his report. And some guy walks by and he's like, and this guy isn't wearing a mask. He's like, yeah, and neither is your cameraman and crew. <laughs> and the, the reporter had to admit, well, yeah. And then just didn't have a comeback. <laughs> they know it's not real. That's what hacks me off about this. You're supposed to be a news organization, but you're operating more like a reality TV show. It's more interested in telling a story you made up than you are actually reporting the facts. You don't even believe the very things that you're teaching. For further proof of this, this is a clip in that same segment with that same reporter from CNN talking about the restaurants here in Alabama. At this time, it's not the most pleasant thing to make these kind of arrests, but you don't have to be a sleuth to find these restaurants around here with waiters and bartenders with no masks. They're all over the place. As a matter of fact, I got my lunch at a place just like that earlier today. <laughs> Do you get the? It's so horrible that all of these bars and restaurants don't have masks and they're just, just walking around all willy-nilly without wearing masks. It's so dangerous and even suggesting the police need to start enforcing that. 
And he's saying, in fact, that's exactly how it was at the restaurant I ate lunch at. Wait, 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 wait a second. You think it's so dangerous and so unhealthy, yet you are willing to consume, put into your body food that was prepared at this place. The guy doesn't even believe what he's preaching. He doesn't. Because if he did, he would never eat that. If he did, he would never consume food that was prepared at a place where that wasn't happening. I mean, if you saw a place that there was something that you believed was blatantly unhealthy, like, uh, you know, cockroaches, you see a cockroach scurry across a table in a restaurant, I'm getting the heck out of there. And so this guy apparently keeps saying, well, well, this isn't healthy and it's so wrong that these uh, restaurant employees and bartenders aren't wearing these masks and even suggesting the police should get involved. He's like, yeah, but I'm going to eat there. I don't even know how to respond to that. This is like, it's the same thing as what Al Gore does. Al Gore constantly preaching to us about how our lifestyles are going to doom the planet and everything is going to end in 12 years. But then he has a heated pool at his house that could power a city. Just his swimming pool takes up more power than the average house in Tennessee. I actually get tired of people in the media, right and left, referring to things as hypocrisy, because hypocrisy is very specific. In fact, hypocrisy is an old theater term. What it means is it, it comes from the Greek, it is when a person puts on a mask, a theatrical mask, and pretends to be a thing that they are not. People can be inconsistent without being hypocritical. Because some people, even though their ideas may not be consistent, they're not pretending to be the thing that they aren't. This is about as clear-cut an example of the original meaning of the word hypocrisy as I've ever seen, right down to the mask. He's literally putting something on, putting on a face in front of the camera for you to observe that is not him and doesn't reflect his actual beliefs. He's pretending to be a thing that he is not. And CNN is doing the same thing by masquerading as a news organization, specifically doing things that are contrary to the narrative, the storyline that they are feeding to the public. It's just absolutely insane. I'm also really hesitant to call things fake news because it carries a negative connotation. And usually people, what fake news has become is just a catch all term for anything that I disagree with or anything that doesn't show full context. I've always said that fake news is very specific. Fake news is when they particularly manufacture things out of whole cloth and try to make it into a news story, not just leaving out context or giving a misleading headline. Those things are definitely bad, but not technically fake news. This is fake news because they literally made a story up out of nothing. The social distancing thing, not an issue. The mask thing, not an issue. And they don't even believe the narrative that they're spinning. If they believed it was so unhealthy that it was so horrible that everybody that was going to eat at one of these restaurants that they were putting the public health in danger, why the heck would they eat there? It doesn't make any sense. Why did they do this? Why did CNN decide to make Alabama the target? Well, there, there's two main reasons here, and I've actually already touched on one of them. One is they love the narrative. They love the narrative because of where we are. All these idiot, backward, country-fried rubes down in Alabama who can't they don't like science and they, they think that global warming is voodoo and we just made it all up. Those bunch of anti-science hicks that cling to their God and their guns, they're out there just living it up on the Gulf, not wearing masks, not social distancing, basically thinking in, in their mind this is how it works, even though people in Alabama don't believe this, that the virus is a hoax and it shouldn't be taken seriously. It fit really nicely into that narrative and it's especially true for the second point, which is, Alabama's Trump country. CNN has a seething disdain for anybody that even thinks about supporting Trump and people in the heartland, the middle of America, anybody that's not one of the elitist on the coast. 
And this narrative fits squarely into both of them. And basically, the, the implication of their story, what the message they're trying to throw out there is these people are idiots and they're all going to wind up doing things that are irresponsible and it's going to wind up killing a lot of people and getting a lot of people sick. And the second half of that is, and they did it because they're Trump people. I mean, Alabama is the reddest state in the country. It's, it's where Trump enjoys his highest approval rating of any state in the nation. And so this just so nicely fit into their little narrative. And that's why they ran with a story like this. Studies show that YouTube videos featuring attractive women get far more likes and subscriptions than ones that don't. This is especially true if she's exotic looking. Luckily, in the modern era, there's an easy way to work around this. You see, I identify as a very attractive Hispanic woman. So now you have to like this video and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're just an evil, heartless Nazi that hates brave, liberated, beautiful Latina women like me. Checkmate, woke brigade. <laughs>